happy once again to be joined by Dr. Laura Saunders, a family psychologist, uh, to talk more about what this means for the five children, who admittedly we have not talked about all that much throughout the course of the saga. They, victims are uh, as much as uh, Jennifer and, and, and Fotis at this point, too. So uh, thank you once again. Uh, just why don't you talk to us about what might be necessary, uh, the next steps for those children to try to best ensure their mental health going forward? Well, I mean, this is a tragedy that is beyond anyone's comprehension. And the, the more that can be done to provide some closure for them, as well as a sense of normalcy, yeah. right? Keeping them, you know, obviously in school and, and playing sports and having friends and being active, mm -hmm. keeping their life and their routines as, as typical as possible is what will help their healing the best. This is something that has had such unbelievable media exposure yeah. and it just seems like at every turn there's another sensationalized detail so it's not even like it's it's been able to sort of quiet down for them since the end of may so it, certainly the hope is that they are you know kept out of uh, the the media loop as much as possible but that's nearly impossible given you know the, certainly the older kids would have exposure to friends who've yeah. heard things or you know, the parents. So as much as they can keep them, you know, doing more typical things, it'll improve their healing overall. It's so hard for all of us to wrap our heads around us, and I think a lot of us are wondering, will they, they be okay down the road? What will life be like for them in 10 years? And then I guess is it maybe beneficial for the younger ones that it happened, that they were younger versus older? It's, it's hard to say. I mean, what you always look for in, in development is, you know, how solid was your development in the first three to five years, right? So for the most part, their development was pretty solid in the first three to five years. That gives you the foundation to deal with problems as you get older. So when you start with a solid developmental foundation, the hope is that as bad things happen, as long as you have someone there to help you, right? The resiliency research shows that you need someone to be your, your guide, your mentor, your supporter, your your person, um, and it seems like they have that. Um, so the hope is that as long as they can keep as grounded as possible, which almost seems impossible in the current situation, but this will pass too. The more grounded they can stay, the better their long-term recovery will be. And uh, last hour when you were with us, we talked about how to deal with the unresolved issue of what happened to their mother, because we don't know for certain, even though there are indications. There's also some uncertainty of how they're going to deal with the legacy of their father. One of his last acts on earth was to proclaim his innocence. How do you help the children deal with that? Well, you don't, I mean, the, the children really need as much um, solid information as possible. So anything, any kind of speculation, and, and you know, he really has been convicted in the, in the court of public domain, right? Yes. He has not been convicted by a court of law. Yeah. Um, as much as you can help them heal their memories and their, their, their feelings for their parents. Yeah. No matter if parents are gone, you still retain feelings for those people. Yeah. Yeah. Children are two halves of their parents. So you want them to have some, some good feelings about each parent. You don't want to vilify parents because that really damages their long-term ability to feel good about themselves as, as teenagers and then young adults and adults. Um, so you have to find the positive qualities in both parents. Um, in every recording, he declared that he loved his children. Right. And so holding on to that piece of information, um, despite what happened, hopefully will be some amount of solace for them. Yeah, that's a really good point and something to keep in mind. Dr. Saunders, thanks so much. We Thank really you. appreciate your insight. Really Thank just a tragic situation all around. Mm -hmm.